who doesn't like to splurge and eat a little too much sometimes? Well, for death row inmates, choosing their final meal is literally the last thing they'll ever eat. But some people might not request the kind of things you might expect. Today, we're going to meet one prisoner who requested nothing for himself, another who wanted an abundance of just one vegetable, and another who ordered something most people would never dream of eating. Hold on tight, subscribe to the channel, and let's take a closer look at the 10 strangest last meal requests on death row. Number 10. Vegetarian Pizza Philip Workman murdered a police officer, Lt. Ronald Oliver, while robbing a Wendy's restaurant in 1982. Or at least, it seemed that he had. Whatever happened that night, he certainly felt bad about. But jurors, prosecutors, judges, medical examiners, and the victim's family all expressed significant doubts concerning his guilt. In fact, according to retired members of the Memphis Police Department, ballistic specialists, and consistent with oversights in the investigation, it had been credibly posited that the officer's death could have been an inside job perpetuated with a department-issued .38 caliber pistol, as opposed to Workman's .45 caliber. However, after five stays of execution and countless appeals, the handling of which have been highly criticized, and 25 years after being placed on death row, he was executed May 9, 2007, near Nashville, Tennessee. For his final meal, he simply requested that the prison give a large vegetarian pizza to a homeless person in Nashville. Despite the selfish nature of his request, the prison refused to honor it. However, when his request was made known to the public, hundreds of citizens across Tennessee brought pizzas to homeless shelters on the day of his execution. Among the orders inspired by Workman's request was a whopping $1,200 worth of pizza delivered to Nashville's rescue mission by a group of friends and 15 veggie pizzas donated by Ingrid Newkirk, president of PETA. If you thought this was a unique request, wait until you see our number one entry, a meal big enough to feed a homeless shelter. Number nine, dirt. In early March of 1983, James Edward Smith was a former tarot card reader in New Orleans, working as a taxi driver in Houston. He entered a branch of the Union Life Insurance Company armed and wearing a mask. Inside, he found Deborah Renee Wilson counting money. Smith pointed his gun at her and demanded it. Terrified, she ran and hid. That's when her co-worker Larry Don Ruiz rushed over to give him the money. After he did, Smith forced him to beg for his life before shooting him in the upper left side of his chest. The wound eventually cost him his life. Meanwhile, Smith was apprehended outside when a passerby tackled and subdued him. His mental competency was long argued and he was a known practitioner of voodoo and black magic. He also took credit for a list of sacrificial killings, though these were never proven. Before his execution in 1990, he requested a bowl of raccoon dirt, a material often associated with voodoo practices. Unfortunately, he was denied and settled instead for a much less menacing cup of yogurt. Before we go on, like this video, pop the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell right now or the ghost in your closet will manifest itself tonight. Number eight, an olive. Victor Frugger was a drifter from Michigan who kidnapped and murdered a doctor, hoping to steal drugs from him in the summer of 1960. Desperate to feed his addiction, Frugger began calling doctors alphabetically from the local yellow pages, and after a short while, found Dr. Edward Bartles, who agreed to go to Frugger's house under the guise of helping a terribly sick woman. When Dr. Bartles arrived, Smith kidnapped him, hoping to steal any drugs that he carried with him. Dr. Bartle's body was found in a cornfield there with a single gunshot to the head. A short time later, and Smith was arrested for his crimes and sentenced to die on March 15, 1963. Prior to his execution, he requested a rather small last meal, a single olive with the pit still inside. He wished for the pit to be planted so that a tree might grow as a symbol of peace. Number seven, Jolly Rancher. Gerald Lee Mitchell was just 17 when he shot and killed two people during separating botched robberies. First, he approached Hector Mugnia and demanded a necklace that he was wearing. When he refused to comply, Mitchell shot him with a shotgun, killing him almost instantly. He then went to a friend's house and took a nap before heading out again. This time, him and his friend ran into Charles Angelo Marino and his 15-year-old brother-in-law, Kenneth Fleming. The pair were looking to buy marijuana and Mitchell said he could help them. He then kidnapped the two of them, 
before executing Marino in cold blood. 15-year-old Kenneth Fleming survived with wounds to his chest, hip, and arm by playing dead until Mitchell left. He was found guilty of the murders and sentenced to death. Before being executed in 2001, he requested a bag of assorted Jolly Ranchers hard candy. Number 6. Dinner and a Movie Ronnie Lee Gardner shot a man in the face, killing him. For his crime, he faced a firing squad in Utah in 2010. But prior to his execution, he requested a steak, lobster tail, apple pie a la mode, and a 7-up. What was bizarre, though, was that he also asked for the Lord of the Rings trilogy, which he watched while reading Divine Justice by David Baldacci during the mandatory 48-hour fast that preceded his execution. Number 5. Alton Coleman In 1984, Alton Coleman was scheduled to stand trial in Illinois on charges stemming from the rape of a 14-year-old girl when he fled and began a horrifying killing spree that spanned six states. Together with accomplice Deborah Brown, who was borderline intellectually disabled from head trauma she received as a child, he murdered eight people, ranging in age from 7 to 75, with many of the victims being sexually abused and tortured first. Once sentencing was complete, Coleman had received two death sentences from Ohio, and one each from Illinois and Indiana. At the time of his execution, he was the only condemned person in the United States who had death sentences in three states. For his last meal, he requested a massive buffet, including fried chicken breast, salad with French dressing, sweet potato pie with whipped cream, french fries, collard greens, onion rings, cornbread, broccoli with melted cheese, biscuits and gravy, a cherry coke, and finally, a well-done filet mignon smothered in mushrooms. Number 4. All the Calories The second super meal on today's list, Peter J. Miniel, was always one for overkill. Perhaps this was most apparent when he stabbed Paul Mania 39 times with a knife while he slept, just so he can make off with $20 and some stereo equipment. Miniel was arrested a short time later and willingly confessed to the crimes. For the horrific crime, he was executed by lethal injection in Texas on October 6, 2004. For his final meal, he requested a massive spread, including 20 beef tacos, 20 beef enchiladas, two double cheeseburgers, a pizza with jalapenos, fried chicken, spaghetti with salt, half of a chocolate cake and half of a vanilla cake, cookies and cream ice cream, caramel pecan fudge ice cream, a small fruit cake, two Coca-Colas, two Pepsi Colas, two root beers, and two orange sodas. While it's unknown how much of it he ate, you can rest assured there is probably some leftovers. Number 3. Radishes Stephen Wayne Anderson lived the tortured life of severe abuse and eventually settled into a life of crime, one that resulted in a murder committed during a break-in. Over his two decades on death row, he became an award-winning writer and prior to his execution, requested two grilled cheese sandwiches, a pint of cottage cheese, a mixture of hominy and corn, a slice of peach pie, chocolate chip ice cream, and for dessert, a bunch of radishes. Number 2. Pecan Pie A deeply troubled man, Ricky Ray Rector was considered by many to suffer mental retardation that should have rendered him unable to be executed. The argument states that he had no grasp on the reality of what was happening, and many point to his last meal as proof. He requested steak, fried chicken, cherry Kool-Aid, and a slice of pecan pie, setting the pie aside and telling the guard he was quote, saving it for later. Number 1. Everything Lawrence Russell Brewer was instrumental in the savage and barbaric, racially motivated murder of James Byrd Jr. When it came time for his final meal, Lawrence Brewer ordered almost everything he could think of. The list included two chicken fried steaks with sliced onions dripping in gravy, one triple meat bacon cheeseburger with everything on the side, one cheese omelet with ground beef, tomatoes, onions, bell peppers, and jalapenos, a big bowl of fried okra with ketchup, one pound of barbecued meat and half a loaf of white bread. Three fajitas with all the toppings. One Pizza Hut meat lover's pizza. One pint of bluebell vanilla ice cream. A slab of peanut butter fudge with crushed peanuts on top. And last but not least, three root beers. While the sheer quantity of food may be shocking, perhaps the strangest aspect of his request was that when it arrived, he simply told the guards that he was quote, 
not hungry. That's all for 10 strangest last meals requested on death row. Which story was your favorite? Have you heard of similar stories? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to TrendJoint for more incredible videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.